top and the bottom, it's very small. Very but here dense. we go. Yeah. Right into winner's quarters, we have El Cubano Loco versus Julio. And uh, Cubano Loco is, is getting the first major damage, meaningful damage in the game. Cubano Loco has been picking up a little bit of steam. He kind of struggled at first at the start of the game. Julio making a big splash coming out of the gate. Absolutely. <laughs> Julio, and I think Ken really suits his play style oh, very yeah. well. He's not, he doesn't have the uh, the dive kick like Yun did where he's able to do it without resources, but he still has the option. But he has so much corner and juggle potential. He is very good when it comes to the corner. That's that Yun, Yun experience, that Yun mentality where, you know, once you get in the corner, I smell blood, I'm going to capitalize. And just we said that, Julio did take the round. And interesting note about Julio, for some of you that don't know, he did actually start out, he was a third strike player. Yep. And he does feel that this game is very third strike-ish in terms of the flow of the game, in terms of the offense. So it kind of shows in his game, but it kind of shows in the results. He plays second at Winter Brawl, did pretty yeah. good at both final round and NCR. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very solid player. Um, you know, we see, I think, uh, again, Ken definitely really good for his style. Uh, compared to the Yun that he's so well known for, he's given up a command grab to have a fireball to control space. And just like that, um, Julio playing solid, he ends up taking the first game. Now, wh what do you think El Cubano Loco needs to adjust after that first game? What does he need to do to take this next game? Well, I think, you know, I, I think you know, a lot of Vega players in this game they they see these new tools, these new aggressive tools. Uh -huh. So they're playing a little bit more aggressive than usual. Okay. So kind of go back to the the Street Fighter Four, the regular Street Fighter Four roots to, of just playing lame, okay. trying to get as much damage in as possible. Because Ken is just one of those characters where he just steamrolls you. He falls in the categories of the Mikas. Yep. I agree. I, I, he definitely can. I mean, you you say there's there's Ken, there's Mika. Who else does? Who else balls? Laura, absolutely. Oh yeah, definitely Laura. Yeah. And when you leave these mauling characters in the hands of El Cubano Loco, you get very quick games like these where Julio is on match points. Yeah, very good. I think both players are playing pretty solid, but Julio definitely has been optimizing his damage, but. That being said, uh, Cubano Loco, uh, he has, you know, the life lead and the momentum advantage here going into round two and game two. He's going to need to take this round to stay alive in the set. I think he's doing a really good job of playing outside of Ken's bread and butter zone of the, the crouching strong range. But he's not challenging buttons in that because he knows that Ken has really, really good options. Yeah, Ken has a really good option to get in with... Uh, the air Tatsu, the air dive kick, essentially. Yep, absolutely. And Vega is notoriously known for not having any good answers. But just as we said that, Julio gets the corner carry. This might be the round right here. Not quite stunned, but just Overhead. one mix-up. Oh, just throw. Very tough. Vega has no reversal options yep. right there. Yeah, and on that note of anti-airs with Vega, I think um, one thing that many players miss 